QA engineers are on the edge of extinction. The last QA engineer has just started to death in Silicon Valley. AI has conquered the world. That's it. Enough bullshit. Let's be realistic. The future is much brighter than you think. And if you watch this video until the end, you will find out why. On this video, I'm going to explain three following topics. How did AI become a thing as we know it as of now? Is AI causing recession we're going through? How did it and how will it impact QA and the tech job market overall? AI is a new buzzword that is, in fact, making some changes to the current tech and also not tech world's job market. Although you should not be afraid of it, but rather use it to thrive on this market. Sounds exciting? Let's take it apart. I've been working in the QA field for over 10 years and mentor probably more than a thousand people already. And guess what question they have all been asking me? I've heard that a QA is not necessary anymore. Is it true that it will not exist in a few years? That question has been one of the most popular ones for decades, and I'm not exaggerating. Before, it was about QA being completely automated. Now, they always ask about AI. Is AI going to replace QA engineers soon? But in order to find out if AI is actually going to replace QA, we're gonna take a look at some market stats since the when AI became the actual thing. The term artificial intelligence was coined in 1956 at the Dartmouth conference by John McCarthy and others, making the first birth of AI as a field. In 1958, John McCarthy developed the Lisp programming language, which became a standard for AI research. One of the very first times when I heard about AI was in 1997, when IBM's Deep Blue defeated the world chess champion Gary Kasparov, making the significant milestone in AI. Although I was just seven years young and honestly I've heard it was a computer I did not think it was actual AI because I did not know what it was early 2000s machine learning and the big data started to ramp up 2012 Google's deep learning algorithm learns to recognize cats in the YouTube videos without being explicitly told what a cat actually is demonstrating unsupervised learning which is very impressive at least for me Dear friends, I've put together a special guide just for you. It's all about a career in QA has to offer, including the different paths you can take and how you can grow both professionally and financially. You'll find details about bonuses and potential salaries too. If you haven't checked it out yet, click a link below and get your free copy sent directly to your email. It's totally free for all of my subscribers. Also. If you're thinking about further education and want to chat about it, feel free to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. It's free and I would love to help answer all of your questions. Just keep in mind that spots are limited, so don't wait too long. And now let's talk about one of the last stages of development in the current history of AI. In 2020, we had the, one of the biggest breakthroughs. OpenAI released ChatGPT version 3 with the 175 billion parameters capable of generating human-like tasks and performing variety of language tasks. Honestly, when it came out, I was super scared of it from the first look. I was like, wow, they're gonna take our jobs. But after I started using it, I realized that ChatGPT is still far away from being able to replace the human. But what it's actually good in is being an amazing assistant. If you know the topic and you need assistance, ChatGPT can help you out. If you don't know the topic or you don't know programming, it's going to be hard for you to learn with the ChatGPT one by one. But if you are already an engineer and you want to learn faster, you want to improve your speed, your efficiency, ChatGPT is a great thing to use. And we'll talk about it more in a second. And while we're recording this video, I wanted to remind you guys that you gotta hit that big fat thumb up button below and subscribe to our channel if you would like to get notifications whenever new useful content will be coming out. Is AI causing a recession we're going through right now? So the entire world's job market has shifted a bit in the last two years. And since AI was the last hype word, people started to blame it. And honestly, that's expected because 
Usually, people, I would say, are always are afraid of things they don't understand until they actually learn it. Just like our students who cry when they learn programming, but then they are happy when they get their first 100k job offer. In 2022, the job market started to sink compared to probably the best ever tech job slash COVID times in 2020-2021. But the reason behind the recession is far away even from the tech industry. You might be surprised, but it started on the February 24, 2022 in Eastern Europe with the invasion of the largest country on the European map. And then it expanded to a few more countries. And right after that, layoffs have become a new norm on the market. As you can see on layoffs.fyi, in Q2 of 2022, the market got scared of the World War III, which is actually happening, and the amount of layoffs have skyrocketed. Although after 2023, the market had started to stabilize, and I can actually feel it myself with the amount of job offers and interviews our students go through. It goes up and down from time to time, but now it is definitely starting to pick up, as you can also see on the layoffs.fyi graph. How did the recession impact the QA market? Well, the QA can be equally compared to pretty much any tech job on the market. And based on the graphs we just saw, things weren't the best during 2022. Although people still got offers during the worst times. But those are the people who follow instructions, listen, learn, and don't give up. It's just a question of time when you will get your offer if you are going for it and learning from your mistakes. For example, during the New Year events of 2023-2024, our students have beat the record with the amount of offers they've received. And honestly, I couldn't believe it myself that the market has changed that quickly. We've talked about a past, we've talked about a current, now let's talk about a future. So what does the future of QE look like? By 2030, AI is expected to contribute, listen to it, $15.7 trillion to the global economy. But it also possesses challenges, potentially displaying jobs while creating new ones. Now, the main thing to realize that the world is changing and it will continue to change even faster. The QA market will be impacted, but it will definitely not die anytime soon. At this point, the world is still figuring out how to use AI in everyday applications. Some companies finding a good use for it, but for majority, it is still just a hype as of now. And you can see it whenever you go to almost any website. I've actually just built a website on Wix myself. And an AI that they offer was honestly a waste of my time in my honest opinion. They all offer some AI because it is a trend. And as someone really smart said, AI is not taking your job, but the person who is using AI will take your job. So make sure to use AI to learn faster and become a better engineer. And the simplest way to do so is to use ChatGPT just to learn new tools and technologies faster. And if you guys want to see an example, how did I do it? How did I use ChatGPT in order to learn or to show new technologies for you? I'm going to leave a link right on the top of this video right here. And also you can find it right below this video. Now, thank you for your time. Hit that like button below, subscribe to our channel and and I'll see you in the next video.